What is going on guys? It is Venom Search here and we are back with Crazy Craft. It has been a while. Now, I had saw some interesting things about this here portal gun. And if we shoot the moon. Okay. We just shot the moon. Oh. It's eating. It just ate our portal. I have an idea. Let's put that back there. So uh, we just ate those villagers and it did not eat us. Yeah, I'd be running wild if I had that power too. So I have also done more research on this here vampirism mod and I figured out what it is that we need to do to get our next stage. Now, last time we saw, we needed to burn ourselves with the sun, and I was not entirely sure on what that meant. It ate our base. It also ate the cow spawner. Is it anywhere in here, or is the cow spawner gone forever? Ah, I think it might be gone. We have our sword here, but... The... Spawner's gone, along with the other generators. Anvil's thrown over here, though. That gives me hope we might be able to find it in this giant mess, but... That's gonna throw us off. I was able to get some in, but not a lot. And we don't have many spawners left. That's a problem. Now, if you guys have noticed, I did a little bit of off-camera slaughtering mantises for days. Look at these enchantments. All of the protections. And then the base defense is already 12. Although it only has Feather Falling 3, which is kind of weird to me. But anyways, this sun thing, I found out it is actually called a sun collector and so you collect the sun with these quartz spheres so we're gonna be making those okay so we have enough stuff for the sun collector here we are just throw that in and then we got the quartz sphere We'll make that. I have no clue how many we need actually. Oh, they're stacked. Ten times. I gotta do it ten times. So let's see how much this can hold. Oh, it's actually almost nighttime. Hold on. There we go. So let's go see. So I'm not sure where exactly like it doesn't say if there's any rules so i guess we're just gonna plop it up here 
And that only holds one, so we need 10 of those. Okay, so we got our 10 collectors now, so we're just gonna spam these down here. And from what I understand, we need to have a full day and probably not night but a full day cycle at least so that needs to happen now obviously we can't be outside when during that happens so i don't know if i'm gonna get this cow spawner back during this episode i might do it later off camera after this is uploaded but yeah the moon just ate our base even though it was outside. That's great. While the sun collectors collect, I want to go back and look at the Project E mod with all of these like pedestal things. Now it's going to be difficult because look at this 4.6 million. We only got six and no more cow spawner. So. I won't be able to get to some of these like I hoped I would, like this thing. Repairs our items while it's on it, that would be amazing. But we don't have the EMC for that, so... I'm just gonna try to get this watch of flowing time, which we should be able to make right now. Here we are. The watch of flowing time, let's learn that real quick. Okay, so it looks like there's a charge here. Right click to manage mode. Fast forward. Rewind and off. Interesting. Wait, is this actually pause time? No, it's still going. I wonder if we can use the fast forward or that's working. Now the other thing is we still need our normal clock. So I guess now we got two clocks to deal with, but now I saw that. What does that do? I don't know what this does. It just changes the look of it. So hopefully with this fast forward, we can get that to go. And now I'm wondering, does that hour hand show the daytime? No, it does not. Okay. So on the bright side, we do have this energy mark collector three that I upgraded. And this is still, okay, it's not generated right now, but these are generating right now and I have a uh, bank that's already almost full all right guys so this has been a full day hopefully don't know what just hit me there or it has not Okay, so we're gonna fast forward that again, and we will see how that goes. Now, while that happens, while the sun collectors collect, which is almost time, I'm gonna fast forward here, actually. I wanna check out these weird things. Now, it looks like there's like some sort of a dungeon or something. This is kind of a cool little crevice here. Okay, here's the door. So we'll set that to off and we'll check out this place. Guess we'll go up. There's a little carpet in it. Statistics. A hundred chests, a hundred mob spawners. So I guess this is more starting out things. 
Okay. Also, guys, this is how dark it's actually. But we got night vision, because we're a vampire, because we're awesome. Ah, oh, let's go towards the ominous cake. As always. Random lever. Turn off our night vision. A uh, super smelter with nothing in it. Cool. Random torches. So this place would probably be. Well, we should have came here like back when before we had. Tons of stuff, cause we're gonna one shot everything in here. Yeah, so I guess this is like a another statistics book. So I guess you're just supposed to fight your way through here and collect loot. This feels like a boss arena almost. Although we will take these. So I guess we'll check out this end even though it doesn't look like it's going to be a massive... Oh, there's a... There's... It goes deeper, apparently. I guess this place goes kind of far. There's a lot of ores in this. I guess we go down. It's really our only option. Okay, now it's sounding like lots of mobs. Random chests. So I guess this is... This is good for our spawners, but... If you guys ever want to play Crazy Craft, you definitely want to check this out much before you get endgame. Although this does get kind of deep. Creeper spawner could be nice. That doesn't sound good. See, when we did the TNT explosion thing, I was expecting something more like this when it came to the combustible stuff. Uh, I mean, these guys have, like, diamond armor, so... I guess it's not... Too far behind. I mean, I literally just got this new armor today, so. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, skeleton heads. We could use more of those. If you guys ever want skeleton skulls, whether it be wither or normal, this is your place. I mean, look at all these. There's a. Wither skeleton here. Dark steel. I didn't do that one. That wasn't me. Whoa. There's like netherrack and stuff. That sounds dangerous. Where can I get some of this? I want in. Holy monsters. Yeah, this totally would be a challenge if I wasn't a god in disguise. Who wants a piece? There's plenty to go around. I mean, you get like diamonds and stuff. So much loot, dude. I mean, you're, you're getting kind of, some kind of good stuff in here. 
where are all these spawners at? Ouch. Fire is my weakness. Those are some pretty good boots. I'm only taking them just because the EMC is pretty good. There's so much chaos in here. Kind of worried about my armor durability with how much I'm getting hit. Like, it doesn't hurt, but, I mean, the durability's got to be going down quite a bit. How is there still so much? And where do you go from this place? There's no downstairs. So that's where you go. Here, I mean, look how many skeleton skulls I got. This place is just chaos. Random diamond gold. So this stuff was actually pretty good, that amethyst. Thunder staff? Like this. Alright, that was a interesting experience. So these things still have not collected enough sun. That kind of sucks. Alright, I guess we'll head back, drop off our loot, and continue exploring new things. So one of the other things I wanted to check out with you guys was this weird looking sand thing. Now I can obviously see there's some sort of underground portion to it. But I have not seen one of these before, so... Taking that. Let's head to the bottom. So far, it's already looking like it's just one of the things we just found. It's very entry-level loot. I mean, I'm killing things with my pick. Got random ice. It's interesting. So here's our way down. And I'm assuming it's still the same thing. Alright, so I'm just gonna spare you guys it. Because it's not really looking like... Anything different. Alright guys, we're back home. There was... Absolutely nothing different from that last place compared to our... Other area, so... That last dungeon we just checked out. So that sucks, but at least we got a lot more spawners and more heads. Now it just became daytime, so hopefully if we stay around this loaded area, maybe it just needs to stay loaded. I'm not sure. But hopefully the vampirism thing will start working. I still don't know what to do with this. I'm putting that off for sure. I, I'm not dealing with that today. Alright guys, so I just waited about full day cycle 
I guess we should go see if this actually worked. And it still didn't. I think I just remembered. I just remembered the most important part about these. They need to be powered by daylight sensors. This whole time we could have actually had one. So we gotta... Spread them out like this. Uh, where's the orbs? Then we get our spheres and hope Mothra doesn't find us. Okay, we're out of here because we don't want Mothra. Alright guys, just waited another full day cycle, although this time I was able I fast forward it, so maybe. And that didn't work. I don't understand. Why do you want me to suffer? So I just did more research and I guess it has to be exactly at the break of day to noon. So I just waited. Here we are. Now we can do this with sun grenades. Now I saw that apparently you want to do this in like a little two by two. So we'll just go over here of water and I guess we like right click jump up so that way we don't burn from the sun because I think we actually take the burn damage. Oh we're blind. Lovely. Not actually hurting. Now it's hurting. Where's the water? So I guess our fire protection is so strong that with it on, we don't take damage. So I see a potential issue with this. The vampirism was so that way we can have an edge in the fight against the bosses. Now, I knew we'd take more fire damage and obviously the sun's an issue, but since we can control time, the sun's not really an issue. So at that point, at what point does it become OP? So we can't die. So, if this ultimate armor, which isn't even the strongest armor, if this ultimate armor is enough to keep us alive from fire, we might need to cure ourselves of this vampirism. It depends on how the bosses are, I guess. If they do fire damage, because that's the thing. The mantises were, e were able to get me down to half a heart. They could kill me. But they don't do fire damage, so I'm able to survive against them. If we have a boss that does fire damage while hitting hard, we could die from that. But even with this ultimate armor, so if you guys look, so this is from Ore Spawn. Ore Spawn has a lot of armors, including these last three sets so looking at it mobzilla is next it's one point above what we got right now so we need to fight mobzilla then we got royal guardian and then the queen the thing is though to fight them we're gonna need a lot of power now well, currently we got the sword but looking in this mod, I mean, there's a lot of weapons, including, look at this, Big Bertha. You can make Big Bertha out of different enemies. 
from different areas so we need to target all these enemies and or bosses to make Big Bertha look at that damage 500 even with this yeah we have sharpness banning and smite but and 46 attack damage but 500 and that's not even the best this is so far what I've seen the best 750 666 this is better than the Queen's battle axe and I found out that this is from the red ant dimension and that is what we're gonna do in the next episode we're gonna go to the red ant dimension and try to get some better weapons depending on how hard it is if we find that we can fight the bosses before the king and queen if we can fight them with absolute ease no problem no deaths i'm probably gonna cure ourselves but first i want to max the vampirism out just so we can look into this mod and there we go we just leveled up one more time okay so it became his favorite obsession found a way to collect sunlight and burnt himself 10 times during the night so we add new page first walk in the sun after his rebirth brought him to bloody tears he felt his blood burning but no longer instantly he needed more strength and extinguishing creatures of pure fire was his solution 20 died blood burning but no longer instantly Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking can we go outside now can we survive against the one thing that could actually kill us easily? I'm in the sun. Look at that. This is going down. My blood's draining. Weakness for slowness and mining fatigue. But we can go out in the sun. So uh, yeah, it doesn't help that the moon also ate all of our villagers, so we can't drink their blood anymore. Don't mind me, Vampire Hunter. You're from a different mod, so you probably can't tell. Okay, so we need to kill 20 things of fire. Well, you see, we have no more portal. Because somebody, not naming names, but the moon ate it. Alright guys, so we need to find a nether fortress and kill 20 blazes. There's a fortress. Ideally, we'd find a blaze farm, but one, two, three. Hey, there is a blaze farm. Four, five, nineteen, and twenty. My thirst grows stronger once again. See, we don't need to worry that it's day right now because I can actually survive in it. Let's add one more page. He could smash solid stone, but bound to the earth, however fast, he was still limited. He called on her once more, repeating the right of his birth, gifted her a flower, the color of the blood she so craves. I could smash solid stone. Oh. With my fist, look at this, dudes. I mean, it uses my hunger like crazy. So, based on this section, I'm assuming I just have to fight her again and do that whole process. Luckily, we got plenty of skeleton skulls. All right, guys, it's getting kind of late for me here, so I'm gonna have to call it here. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we are going to go to the Red Ant Dimension and try to get some of those monsters, maybe the spawn eggs for them. But that sort of sideways, if you see that there on the side of the screen. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe and like if you want to see more of this content. And I will see you guys next time.